What's going on Wargamers? It's Luke from Basilisk Wargaming, welcome to another video. We're going to take a look on how we can take these Ultramarines from Sprue to Dude in less than two hours. Roll the intro. If you're new to our channel, why don't you head down and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, it will notify you as soon as we upload every Friday at 5.30. Um, if you've been following our Twitch stream, you'll remember these guys from the stream earlier in the week. Uh, these are some guys that I've just recently been working on. So the particular model we're doing today is actually going to be the medic for the kill team. So it's a, a six-man kill team. As you can see, he has some 3D printed parts. So he has a, a 3D printed Narthesium and also backpack. Uh, so what I'm doing in here is I'm just coming in with my first colour on the airbrush and I'm just pretty much loading that colour everywhere. This is a one-to-one -one mix of McCrag Blue and also Ultramarines Blue. Um, so it's Citadel and Vallejo, but they mix together quite well. So I'm just making sure that I've got good coverage and everything on the model is covered. I'm taking it nice and easy, so I'm not hammering that uh, trigger on the airbrush. Just applying some thin coats, keep going back over and just making sure I've got good coverage um, of the initial blue. So this is going to be our base layer. So I'm then going to empty out the airbrush, leave that residual paint in there and load in my next colour which is Electric Blue from Army Painter. Um, I'm just going to use this on a top down method, so just a normal zenithal highlight just to break up the armour panels. So next colour for me, and in my opinion this is where the magic comes in, this is Blue Tone from Army Painter, so effectively it's a blue ink. What I'm now going to do is I'm just going to go around the model and I'm just going to give it a good fine even coat with the blue ink. Um, covering everything pretty much and what this is going to do is this is going to really tie those dark medium and light layers together um, and also really get into those recesses and darken down those armor panels it's super effective and it really gives you a great result really does a lot of the heavy lifting for you so that covers this super quick tutorial on the armor for these ultramarines I'm breaking this video up into two parts just so that we can do the detail in the second part and the video doesn't become too long hope you've enjoyed guys please hit subscribe and we'll see you guys next Friday peace